be late. Late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. All right, babe, come give me a kiss, wish me luck. Good morning guys, good morning. We are heading off to our final lining check. Now I do the quotes because you guys know if you've been here for a while, I have never passed a lining check on the first time. Also, we have some celebrations in order because last time I filmed a lining check vlog, this was the furthest point I got last time. I got to the lining check, they said I wasn't quite ready yet, and to continue my estrogen shots for another week and then I got COVID and that cycle was canceled. So here we are with our new cycle and we are at that point again. I just have this really strange feeling that I'm gonna pass today, um, we will see. We have arrived at the clinic. Let's see if they have any parking. Somebody's pulling out. <laughs> We're gonna get a parking spot today, guys. Remember last time I had to park in like the compact parking, overflow parking? Not today. We're getting a spot today, guys. Okay, I am very excited. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so the fun thing is, is I know what to look for now. I'm pretty sure that my lining needs to be around eight. I think the last time I had it done, it was around six something, and they were like, yeah, you're not ready yet. So I think if we're eight or over, don't quote me, but that's what I'm thinking, we should be good to go. So let's check in for our appointment and head inside. think I passed I'm at like a six to a seven they wanted at an eight like I told you guys we don't have confirmation yet they're gonna check my blood levels of course my estrogen levels uh, but my nurse and I we were cracking up laughing because I was like I'm gonna pass this time on the first try she's like all right let's go let's see and we both get the measurement I was laying on the table she was doing the ultrasound and we both go oh no no we're not there yet we're not there yet and we both started busting up laughing because she was like you were so certain I was like you know I was trying to put it in the air you know the good vibe she's like I totally get that I get that and she's like that was so funny so that's okay I mean, it's not certain yet. We'll wait and see until we get our final call and we'll go from there. <gasps> the fertility clinic call. <laughs> Guys, I am in shock. I am in disbelief. I passed my lining check on the first time for the first time ever in the history of embryo transfers. This has never happened. I think this is my fourth. I'm going off of memory. So the one with Liam, there was the one before Liam when he didn't get transferred. So the one before Liam, then the Liam, then the October, and then this last one. So I've had four, this is my fifth, four out of five, I've never passed on my first lining check, and this time I did. I had the feeling, you guys remember me saying in this vlog, I was like, I really feel like this is it. So now let's rewind on why the nurse thought that I wasn't ready. So they measure three things, your estrogen blood level, something with like the three points. It has to do with three different lines that they look for in the uterus where your lining is. I don't know, it's something like that. And then they measure the lining. So my estrogen levels, blood levels are high and ready to go where they need to be. And my lining measured at 7.3. And my doctor said, by the time we do the transfer, next week, early next week, you will be over eight. Now, if for whatever reason I am not, they won't do the transfer, but they don't anticipate that happening. So I did have to order tonight a new estrogen and another progesterone. So now I'll start my estrogen or not start. 
So I will continue with my estrogen every other day as I have been. And now I will add my progesterone and oil tomorrow. So I'll have two shots a day every day. No, two shots a day every other day and at least one shot on the other day. That sounds very confusing. Anyways, shots until further notice. So, oh my gosh, we are less than a week out from embryo transfer day. It feels unbelievable, really. It's so exciting, but I feel like it's so crazy because this is the point we got to last time, but not this far because last time it was like, oh, nope, you're not ready. Another delay, another week of shots. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I got sick. This time it's, I went in and they're like, nope, you are ready to go. Original plan, which also means oh, the stars are aligning that my doctor can do my transfer. Because remember me saying like everything had to line up everything is literally lining up. It's like it is meant to be. So my period had to start on July 3rd or the 4th. It started on the 3rd in order for my doctor to do transfer. I had to pass the lining check on the first time in order for my doctor to do the transfer. And everything is happening so that he could do the transfer because he goes out of town the next day. So if I wouldn't have passed, he wouldn't have been in town to do the transfer. So anyways, everything is working out. I'm very excited to share this news with you guys. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this update and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.